Well, hello. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. Um, I've got to tell you, I'm really enjoying this whole cowboy thing. I'm completely embracing it. Um, don't worry, it's probably going to stop within the next couple of weeks. Um, in any event, um, this week's blog is entitled New York Rifle and Pistol Association versus the City of New York. Uh, some of you may have actually seen this in the news a couple of weeks ago. I actually wanted to talk about this last week, but I felt it was more important to get the SHOT Show blog out. Um, this is potentially going to be very, very big. Um, it's what we sometimes refer to as a vehicle case for the U.S. Supreme Court. Let me explain. Um, there is a local ordinance in New York City which states that you can only move a firearm from your residence to a range and then theoretically back. Um, if you own multiple residences in New York City, you could not legally move the gun from resident A to residence B without first stopping at an indoor range. As you can imagine, this is a little bit problematic. Now, honestly, I'm not sure how many people are actually arrested for violating this, but it's an ordinance, it's on the books, and it was challenged by the New York Rifle and Pistol Association, and they lost at the trial level. They lost at the appellate level. They appealed it to the U.S. Supreme Court, and with Brett Kavanaugh now sitting on the Supreme Court, they've chosen to hear the case. That is important because it's very, very rare that the Supreme Court decides to hear a case that really is based nothing more than on a local ordinance. So there is a real possibility for the first time in roughly 10 years, the Supreme Court is going to take a Second Amendment firearms case. And as a result of that, it stands to reason that they may issue a very broad ruling on how to interpret Second Amendment related cases. Um, arguably, since we now have a putatively conservative Supreme Court, as gun owners, we're hopefully going to get a ruling that's beneficial to us. And in California, we may actually be able to have some redress of our grievances. Anyways, read the blog. Hope you enjoy it. Um, as always, you can, you can you're, feel free to email me at stephen at artemishq.com. And as always, train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, and train with purpose. Until next week when we see each other for coffee again, yeehaw!